A multi-state identity theft ring ends in Baldwin County. Two people are in custody after skimming credit and debit cards in four states, stealing thousands of dollars and personal information. News 5's Debbie Williams has the story on the Baldwin County beat. When the blue lights go on and a vehicle's pulled over, officers never know what they'll find. In the case of Baldwin County Sheriff's deputies Jason Colby and Ryan Delmore, they were looking for a specific vehicle traveling east on Interstate 10. That traffic stop led to the arrest of two suspects and the end of a multi-state identity theft ring. Those people are in jail now uh, in Baldwin County. Rainier Rivez and Eunice's Manissis are now behind bars. Authorities say they use skimming devices at gas stations to bilk unsuspecting customers of thousands of dollars and stealing their personal information. This particular device was uh, inside the pump, if you will, so it was not visible to the eye. Uh, apparently, it's easier to open up a gas uh, pump machine than you would think. And people who are uh, intent on stealing your information know how to do that. Inside the car, almost $6,500 in cash, 315 gift cards, and 39 stolen debit card numbers. The theft ring spanning almost two dozen cities in Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, and Virginia. And that's just what investigators know so far. We're somewhere in the 120 victim range. Uh, we are still attempting to identify victims. Number of victims for sure, but investigators say that number expected to go higher as they track the couple's route from Texas to Florida and they look for those skimming devices all along the way. Live from the Baldwin County Newsroom, Debbie Williams, News 5. Thank you, Debbie. And back in Mobile, police uncovered a large amount of stolen credit cards after pulling over a couple for a traffic violation. 29-year-old Jennifer Connor and 21-year-old Paul Bingham were arrested Tuesday after a short police pursuit. Connor is charged with trafficking stolen identities, attempting to elude, receiving stolen property third-degree felony, and other lesser charges. Bingham is also charged with obstruction of justice and other charges.